everyone, my name is Elle. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking about my 10 favorite ColourPop lipsticks. So I'll go through them pretty quickly because I've already talked about all of these before during my lipstick roulette series. At least I think I talked about all of them before. So I will have my lipstick roulette linked down below as well in case you want to check that out because that was a series I did for many, many months going through all of my different lipsticks. But I just wanted to talk about some of my favorites and these are ones that are currently still available from ColourPop. They haven't been discontinued yet, so I just really wanted to talk about things that were still available. Um, so the first lipstick that I really love is Skimpy, and this is a beautiful, pale, nudie pink lipstick. It's one of the lippy sticks, which is one of my favorites. It's very glossy. It's what I'm wearing right now but with the Skimpy lip liner on underneath. It's just a fantastic light lipstick that goes with so many darker eye looks. The next two lippy sticks are the Matte X ones and they are my favorites of all time. I really love these ones the most because they are very very matte and they stay on my lips forever. So I have a light one and a darker one. The first one is She Bad and it's a very light pinky nude similar to Skimpy just like the matte version of it. I love wearing this one with darker eye looks as well but just pretty much with anything because it just complements so many different looks. And the second one is Ziggy, which is a very cool, deep terracotta color. It's a little bit orangey. It's very, very autumnal and it's a little bit on the red side. So it gives me a little bit of that red lip look without actually having to commit to a red lipstick, which I really like because I'm not a big red lipstick person, but I love orange tones in makeup. So this works very well for me. The last lippy sticks that I have that I really love is called Grunge, and this is a matte one. And the matte compared to the matte X, you can definitely see how it's a little bit glossy in comparison to the matte X ones, which are just 100% matte. But I really love Grunge because it's exactly what it sounds like it would be. It's like a reddish brown color. It's very dramatic and it just pairs so well with like a really messy eye. I love wearing brown tones on the eye and this as a lip color. It's so easy to wear as well. It's very, very comfortable. I find all of them to be very comfortable, but I find the matte formula just to glide on so effortlessly and it just looks so good without even having to try. Moving on to the liquid lipsticks, I have two ultra satins and they are very similar. With these two, they're both browns and I have 0, .0 and mess around. And 0, .0 is a little lighter and a little bit more brown. Um, it's very cool toned. I love cool toned lipsticks because they're the most flattering for me being cool toned. I also lo really love browns and I was having a really hard time finding cooler browns. Everything was really warm and really yellow. So I really love that Kathleen Lights came up with this one because it's just perfect and I wear it all of the time because it's dramatic without being too much. And then Mess Around is a little bit more purple and a little bit darker. And because it's deeper, it gives me a little bit more of a vampy look without having, again, to commit to a really deep shade. So it's easier for me to wear. And I love the various shades of browns, especially because this one's cooler as well. So there's they're very similar, 0, .0 and Mess Around, but I love them both differently and almost equally. And lastly, I have four ultra matte liquid lipsticks. The first one I have is Aquarius 2, one of the other ones Kathleen Lights collabed with ColourPop on. This is a mauve grayish, so it's a little cool toned as well. Whenever I wear this one, I always get compliments. It's just so flattering. It's like it was made for me. The next one I have is Times Square, which is very similar to Aquarius 2. It's just a little bit more on the warmer side in comparison. So I tend to pair Aquarius 2 just with different eye looks than I would pair Times Square. Um, but Times Square is just a really good, simple color. This one has seen better days. It's a little beat up because this is one of the ones that will live in my purse all the time because it's a really good lipstick on the go as well. And the Ultra Matte formula is just fantastic. It does not budge on the lips at all. I can get just hours and hours and hours of wear from them. The Ultra Satins are nice, of course. They're not as matte, so they don't um, feel as uncomfortable or drying as the Ultra Mattes can be, but I personally have not had a bad experience with a single Ultra Matte lipstick. And then there's Teeny Tiny, which is a grade plum. It's very dramatic and bold, especially on fair skin, so it's definitely something that I would recommend over some of the more warmer purpley colors if you have a hard time finding a good dramatic deep lip color if you're fair skin, Teeny Tiny is a really great option. And the last lipstick is a very, very bold lipstick. This is Dr. M. This is a very deep green color. It's so 
stunning. I wish these kind of colors were more popular because they are absolutely gorgeous on just everybody. And I love a very simple neutral eye with a very deep dramatic lip. There's something about it that feels very complicated and glam when it's actually very very simple. And I love dark dramatic colors in the ultra matte formula because they just last so long I don't have to worry about it transferring and smudging and I just love a matte version of a deep lip. Like I just don't like glossy purples and greens and blacks. I like them to be matte. I just personally really like that effect. All right, so that is everything for this video. This is my son, William. He had to join me kind of <laughs> unexpectedly here at the last minute. Mommy. So he found Mommy. a dime, so he's very happy right now. Um, sorry if this video was a little bit shorter and a little bit more rushed than they normally are. I had a little unexpected visitor. So anyway, that is everything for this video. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns down, down below, down. and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. All right, <laughs> bye for now. Went away, William? Bye. bye.